Wally Bachman came up. He flied out to Jim Rice, and I can still see Rice with the two hands catching it, bringing it down. One out. One away. And then Keith Hernandez came up. Center with Henderson gonna run it down. You know, again, the two hands, I and mean, he has that little flip into the infield. October 25th, 1986, bottom of the 10th, Red Sox up 5-3. Two out was Gettysburg, July 3rd, right before Pickett's charge. It was really possible at that moment. I was down in the bowels of Shea Stadium. I watched them roll those carts of champagne into that locker room. I watched them put the World Championship t-shirts on everybody's seat. It was sewn up. It was going to be the ultimate purging of everything. I stood on the bar. I'm going to have a heart attack. I was sobbing. I'm jumping up and down. We got off the sofa, got off our chairs. My nails were dug into my hands. I've waited my whole life for this. And all the people around me couldn't imagine why I was crying. And my brother turned around and he said, oh. she was the same way in 1918. I couldn't believe that my team was going to win. I was ecstatic. People all over New England are holding babies in front of television screens. I woke my son. I could not let him sleep. He would never forgive me. I carried him from the room. I brought him over to the couch. And I told him, come see something nobody's seen in 70 years. And the Mets are down to their last out. And Gary Carter at the plate. The My brother picks up the telephone and starts dialing my uncle in New Jersey, who's the big Mets fan. The second the last out is made and they rush the field and the champagne comes out, his phone's going to ring. It's going to be us rubbing it in his face. My brother was just dialing. Do, 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 do. And then had his thumb over the last number. And he pops it foul. Getting one over and there was a chance to make a play and I remember thinking, no, 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 I don't want it to end on a foul pop to the catcher. I want it to be classic. I want it to be a strikeout. And when the ball ended in the seats, I thought, great. Line into left field, base hit for Carter. Oh, I remember Vin Scully saying, and the Mets are still alive. I said, yeah, right. And with two out, representing the tying run, Kevin Mitchell. I don't think Kevin Mitchell was wearing a cup or a jock or anything. He had been in the clubhouse making plane reservations back to San Diego. He was drinking a beer with Keith Hernandez. Third ball, and that's going to be hit to center, base hit. And now suddenly with two out in the 10th inning, the time runs are aboard, and Ray Knight will be the batter. And now we're starting to sweat a little bit. There was this sort of like pit at the bottom of your stomach forming. The hairs start to prickle on the back of your neck. All I thought was, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Chiraldi's expression was like me in algebra class when I was called for my homework. My brother kept dialing. And that's going to be hit into center field, base hit. What? Hans Carter to score. Oh, I can't believe this, but no, they're not going to blow this. It's impossible. And the Mets refuse to go quietly. Five, four Red Sox, and he's... McNamara comes out and signals for the bullpen. The gate opens up, and out comes Stanley. And I screamed, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, shit. There's ever a guy that just epitomized a Red Sox loserdom, Bob Stanley. He just had that sad, kind of droopy face. You have the time run 90 feet away, and here's Mookie. Fouled off. He got two strikes on Mookie. They get to one strike away, not Fouled once, away again. not twice, Fouled away. but three times. Tension mounts some more. With two out in the tenth, five, four Red Sox. Ray Knight at first. My quadriceps are tense, my patellas are bursting, my back's hurting because I haven't been able to jump up yet. My brother, to his credit, kept dialing each pitch. But you got the sense of, oh, shit, something's going to happen. He's going to go to the backstop. <laughs> Here comes Mitchell to score the tying run. What happened? What just happened? And Ray Knight is in second I watched them wheel that champagne back out and grab those t-shirts and stuff them back in the bag. It was really like a horror film. I couldn't believe my eyes. We couldn't have dreamt this thing up. I just turned to the bartender and said, 
Give me everything on the top shelf and put it in a big glass. No, it can't be happening. It just can't be happening. But it was. My brother hung up the phone, and there was a sense of, this game's lost. So the winning run is at second base with two out, three and two to Mookie Wilson. And then the unbelievable happened. The whole world slowed down for me. It stopped time. It was like watching a slow motion car accident. It just couldn't have really happened. It had to have been a movie or somebody's idea of a cruel joke. I was in complete, utter catatonic shock. My son just collapsed. I picked him up and he was just sobbing. I felt like I'd done the worst thing to him a human being could do. I mean, to do that to your kid. I didn't say a word. I just got up from the sofa, and I walked up two flights of stairs to the bedroom, threw myself face first, uncontrollably crying. I was so upset. It really was an hour and a half after the game ended before I could even move. That really pissed me off. Really pissed me off. Really, really pissed me off.